In the Southwest Valley this morning, a dispute between neighbors has left a man dead and a two year old girl hospitalized. And four people taken to jail. Fox 5's in Kirika Zuka now joining us live from that scene this morning with the latest in Kirika. Yeah, hey, good morning, Dave. Good morning, Faven. So this happened at around 9 o'clock last night, but as you can see, Metro is still out here right now. Now, this investigation is ongoing, so the information we have is limited. But what we know so far, I can tell you we are here by Flamingo and Mountain Vista. That's where this happened around 9 o'clock last night. Police say that neighbors got into an argument in their backyards, and then there was gunfire. A 40-year-old man was pronounced dead at the scene, and a 2-year-old girl, who Metro believed was his, is his daughter, was also shot in the leg and taken to Sunrise Hospital with non-life threatening injuries. Police went to the neighbor's house to try and get the suspects and here's what happened. A car was fleeing that address. They did a traffic stop on that car uh, and several subjects fled from that car at the area of uh, Flamingo and Mount Vista. Uh, our patrol officers did an amazing job with K-9 in our air unit coordinating resources and getting a perimeter quickly set up and we were able to locate all those subjects that fled from us. Now, Metro does not believe there were multiple shooters involved. However, four people were taken into custody as people of interest, but they are looking for more details about what happened, what may have led up to that incident. And if you have any information, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers at 702-385-5555. But again, what we know this morning is a 40-year-old man was shot and killed. His two-year-old daughter was shot in the leg and taken to Sunrise Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. We will give you the latest information as we get updates. But for now, Dave and Faven, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, quite the investigation nine hours later and still a heavy police presence in that neighborhood. Thanks so much, Kirika.